Hey guys, Odin and I are out here at the Walter Pratt Picnic Area. It's part of the Brazier Forest uh, State Park. I'm going to test out this little device uh, called a Smoothie. It's a non-motorized gimbal for smartphones and um, GoPro. I've already had some issues with it just trying it around the house and whatnot. But we're going to take it out here and see how it works. But I'll try try to give you... A little view of it here now uh, it's gonna be kind of hard with with only two hands and no extra cameraman but uh, let me flip the camera around so there's a weight on the bottom it's an extendable metal rod that you adjust and then um, you can there that comes with this version came with a GoPro mount and a smartphone mount um, so obviously I have the GoPro mount on there now um, it's supposed to you hold this handle out and there's little magnets readjust it here there's little magnets in there that that key. you're supposed to try to keep this thing level um, it's very sensitive to the position of the GoPro and as I was tightening it on the GoPro I don't know if you can see this or not but the uh, provided screw broke and I wasn't putting hardly any pressure on it so it does take a lot of fiddling uh, to get that and you see how it's kind of listing there to one side so I'm going to have to put the camera down while I adjust this. So this thing, the way this is mounted right here, I'm trying to get in the light so it's easier to see. This piece right here, I don't know if you can see that, but it rotates very easily. I'm, I'm, I'm barely putting any, the weight of the camera when you walk actually shifts it. It's designed so that you can you can move the camera sideways. I don't know if, I, if you can see that or not. And it's not doing it now. Let's see, I'm all out of orientation here. It's designed so you can move it back and forth this way if you notice down here it's hard to do with one hand see so that you can center the GoPro for weight purposes but like I said it, it, it just and you got to it just moves all over the place so you can't even really um, you can't even really get it to stay where you want so uh, I haven't tried the smartphone mount part of it um, yet um, but the GoPro to me is a no-go uh, it just doesn't you can't, I've tightened that little thumb screw down right in there. I've tightened that as tight as I can get it. And just because of the nature of how, this is not one of focus today. Um, the nature of how this is designed so that it can slip, it causes it to slip rotationally as well. So this this gets all out of whack, just walking, well, see, just, just rotate, uh, walking out, walking down the, uh, the road. But we're going to, I'm going to fool around with it, get it balanced and walk down the road with it. So you can see if it actually stabilizes anything. Okay, I'm walking with the gimbal now. And I can see that it's kind of listing to one side. Um, so I'm going to adjust it. Yeah, and it also, even though it may be correct, um, this is just crazy. It might be correct it, 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 it rotates like it's hard to explain it also turns towards me as I'm walking um, it's just the I really wanted something after I did that Debar pond walk I really wanted something to lightweight and whatnot that I could use to stabilize the video a little bit because that that uh, that was awful shaky. I guess this isn't doing too bad now. Let's see. Maybe it'll change. I only paid about it was less than fifteen bucks for this thing. Like fourteen bucks on Amazon. Various number of people uh, sell it. I think it was a uh, a Kickstarter project at one time. There are several uh, gimbals going on Kickstarter right now. 
three axis motorized gimbals I've had my eye on but they're expensive and I don't really want to back anything on Kickstarter right now that's that expensive over a hundred a lot of most of them um, and I really want something that does uh, both a smartphone and the GoPro so I don't have to have two different devices and I can just switch back and forth so I don't know it, from the screen of course on my GoPro is shut off um, right now this thing seems to be doing okay it does have on the little handle that I'm holding and I'll do a video when I get home of the a little closer so you can see all the functionality of what I mean what it's supposed to do and whatnot um, the handle that I'm holding has a, a thumb, you know, a camera mount hole there, whatever that what quarter inch screw thing is that your tripods have, so that you could theoretically mount this thing on a selfie stick or um, on a tripod. I mean, I can try that. I don't know why you. I don't know why you'd mount it on a tripod because tripod's going to hold your camera steady for you so but if you had a selfie stick i i don't know how the physics of that would work that would get really interesting but maybe we can try it i believe i have a selfie stick i don't use it but i normally use my stick pick but i don't know that wouldn't work with this because the pole would pretty sure it would the pole would hit this uh just drop down weight this thing seems to be staying pretty uh pretty steady um again i'll have to check the video when i get back but let's go over here. so i'm holding this now just at the base of the camera where the little gopro mount thing is which is exactly what i did when i did the debar pond lodge hike and that was very shaky of course i was walking on some more uneven ground this road's pretty uh pretty flat but still probably bouncing quite a bit see they came up here and plowed which was nice we wouldn't have been able to get in here otherwise Odin just turned 12 the other day he's getting real cagey he wanted to get out we haven't been out we haven't been able to go for a walk or anything because of the weather and he's he was really bugging me today to do something so I said well we'll go check it out see if it's walkable so I I'm back on stabilized, but when I had to move around to get him on the leash, because that, that mount is so unsteady, um, and I moved the little weight down a lot, I see that's not really working. It's got indicators on it, numbered indicators, so you can kind of figure out where you're at. Nine seems to be good for this GoPro. Okay, and they were coming back, so I had to totally readjust this thing again that to me is a total deal breaker on this thing total deal breaker you have to totally rebalance it and readjust it every time you go to use it and there's there's other adjustment points on this thing that I couldn't show you really yet and uh, I'll show them to you later that are just I mean, it's just it takes a while i mean it's not it's not half an hour or anything but it's 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 a good 10 minutes of fidgeting anyway maybe you get better at it over time there is a little rubber thing that can go in where the magnets are uh, and that um dampens the movement of it but it kind of to me defeats the whole purpose it doesn't stabilize as well so i guess it's for beginners or really rough conditions or something i don't know but I'll link to where you can buy this. Um, it is lightweight. It's inexpensive. Um, they maybe I can once I nail the position down on this uh, where this is balanced. I could maybe glue that GoPro mount down somehow so that's not as slippery, uh, so it doesn't move as much. But I'm, I'm leery because this thing is so sensitive that you you got to get it just. Perfect on there. This last foot of chair has been stabilized. I'm going to switch over to my handheld and deal again. I was actually walking pretty slow too, so. 
I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. But if I switch back to stabilize and keep this pace, there is some sort of technique where you can put your fingers out and hold the, kind of balance the rod so it doesn't rotationally spin. Um, but my hand isn't long enough in it. And I think you kind of lose the, you kind of lose the, uh, some of the stability of it and you kind of bump it when you do it. I've tried it. Um, it seems to work best when you hold it out by the end, which is uncomfortable for any length of time. Uh, I see it's rotating on me. And that may be a function of how this is twisted here, but. And if you if you move side to side too quickly it, it will it'll spin. I don't know if you can notice that or not. Oh, yeah, see it's totally spun now. So now I have to twist it back manually. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to wrap this up here, and uh, we'll take it back to the house and show you close-up features. Okay, guys, we're back at the house, and I just wanted to show you this is what you get when you buy the Smoothie. It's called the Smoothie Plus. There's the packaging. Um, so you have the actual unit here, the smoothie. This is the standard camera mount, which you then screw this included GoPro mount to, to use for a GoPro. And this is your cell phone mount. mount. This expands to include your cell phones. I'm filming with my cell phone, so I can't really stick that in there right now. But, um, and then this, this comes off. The camera mount on the screws right there on that thumb thing, and then these little feet go. These little feet go in that place, so you can have this uh, cell phone on there. So it's a, it's a little bit of a procedure. Um, I'm going to try to show you all that stuff. I'm not sure how to quite work the camera angle and whatnot, but um, I'm going to try to show you that stuff as well as some of the stuff I mentioned in the video um, when we were outside. And I think you probably can tell from the video that it doesn't do a great job of stabilizing. Could be some user error in there that maybe I need to get used to it a little bit more. But um, you know, I didn't notice a whole lot of difference between me carrying it with the stabilizer and then without the stabilizer um, on the GoPro. Um, that's the GoPro doesn't have any um, of its own stabilization. Your cell phone does have a little stabilization, so you might have better results with a, with a cell phone. Uh, so let me get into a closer look at this thing. Okay, guys, let's see if this uh, this works for for the video. Um, I'm recording this on my iPhone. I'm just going to show the features of this movie. Um, without putting the camera on it. So I've just got it mounted to a tripod here. There's a, a tripod hole, screw hole in the bottom of the handle here. Um, and I guess that's for mounting on a selfie stick. I'm not entirely sure how that would work if you're gonna get enough distance between here and the end of your selfie stick so that this, this is your weight, your counterweight here, um, so that it doesn't hit your selfie stick, I guess you'd be all right. Um, so, like I was talking about in the video, when we're outside, this, ideally you want this position like, basically like that, that's straightforward. Um, this little guy can tuck in here. 
and that dampens the the movement a little. So there you can see it, it doesn't it doesn't move anywhere near as much as if I take this out. And it, it, so that I think that's to help you learn um, how to get it to work and whatnot. So um, if you want to put the GoPro on that, that's the standard mount that I believe that was on it when I came. You would just take your GoPro and your standard GoPro. Now again, this one broke when I tried to screw the GoPro into it. Just screw it on here. Okay. Now, this is one of my issues. No matter how tight you try to turn this, okay, this moves. Okay. I'm going to try and get this on camera here. So that is because of how this is set up. This is set up so that that, that piece, hopefully you can see that, can slide back and forth to balance your GoPro. This thumb screw here is as tight as I can get it with my hands. I can't tighten it. That does nothing to stop this spinning. So your GoPro, as you're walking, your GoPro is going to spin is going to spin on this mount here which then causes counterbalance issues because this needs to be very particularly dialed in for the gopro and it makes it not usable um it's just too finicky uh, if that was more stable and they had a different mechanism for uh allowing for the counterweight here like maybe a clicking thing I just click positions that stayed it, because even then this even this bumps you bump this and you can even if you kept that thing solid you can bump this very easily it just doesn't it doesn't tighten up enough for me um, so that's one issue with it uh, another issue is here on this thumb screw you can tighten that thumb screw. So it's all plastic all through here everything's plastic except for the metal weight you can tighten that up, but it still, it still slips. So that moves on you and again, throws off the balance of the camera. Um, I've tightened that as tight as I, I don't want to break it. So I've tightened it as tight as I felt I could. And it, um, it still slips very easily, very easily. Um, it does adjust here at the handle for various positions when you're holding this on its own without the tripod there uh, it doesn't really you can't really see it here but this it can be angled for her. this centerpiece is angling here hopefully that's visible um, so yeah that needs the facing forward that's how it stabilizes see this is all Jimmied up now. So to replace that mechanism, you have to take this thumb screw out. Okay. This comes off. So you could mount a regular camera to that too, as long as you can get enough adjustment here, you'd be fine. Then you've got your phone piece. This is for your cell phone. And you've got to get this on the right. And be very careful if you do end up getting one of these. This little nut here pops out. So be very careful. Um, so you're going to want to get this on here the right way. I told your finger over that nut. You gotta kind of fiddle with it to get it to go. I don't have it yet. See, there she goes. Nope. 
See, this is, to me, there's no reason why that nut should come out of there. You should just be able to have that glued in there. Piece of string on there I can get rid of. That's back in there. The other thing is this knob piece. This this adjustable knob piece recesses into the into the holder, so you've got to get that in there while tightening it into the thumb screw without losing the thumb screw. I think I got it. So there again, same situation with the GoPro mount. This. No matter if you tighten this down this you know really far and it's still and maybe that's a feature I gotta back that up so you can see it um, maybe that's a feature to allow some adjustability but it causes especially with your bigger phones I have a 6 plus iPhone 6 plus uh, the weight of the phone while you're moving around will cause this to creep forward and anything that moves the position of your phone is going to throw the weight off and then just disrupt the whole thing so um it's just not uh I, it just doesn't really my opinion it's not worth it i wouldn't even bother um let me put the gopro on there so you can see so this is the weight down here oh i came out i didn't want to do that i'm gonna pull it from here the weight is here and I'll bring you in closer for a look at the numbers. Um, so there's a, those are numbers to give you an idea. Slowly work your way down until it gets properly balanced. Uh, there's instructional videos out there on how to do that. I'm not. That's not what this is about. Because honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna advise people not to buy this. If somebody wants to comment and prove me wrong, tell me I'm doing something wrong, I'd be more than happy to listen because I would like for this to work. But um, it just doesn't cut it, I think. All right, so I'm going to take this off again. You're going to want to be careful. Now, if you store this piece, if your main attachment is going to be the GoPro attachment be careful with that nut you may you may want to glue that nut into place I can't see any reason why gluing that nut into place wouldn't um, would be a problem so this just goes back on here again you've got a nut in there that nut seems to be embedded in there so the other problem I have you got to monkey around with this. The other problem is this also with this GoPro screw that I'll show you in a second. Um, all right, so you, you know your GoPro GoPro screw works just like it does in the other place. And I've tried it with this mount turned around the other way and mounting it, and it doesn't seem to make any difference. So my other issue here is this provided screw handle, of course, because it broke, doesn't go in there easily. All right, let's call that in. Um, so that's... GoPro mounted on there. Let me back you up. So it looks, you know, of course it's touching now, but you move that up and you kind of fool around with it until it's balanced. And then, like, if you if you shove this all the way over one side, you'll see how the GoPro leans. Hopefully, you can see that. I gotta keep checking the frame here. Yeah, let me focus it. Um, see how the camera leans. Then, if I switch it all over to the other side. It kind of balances so you because you've got to figure out the weight of the case the weight of this thing um you also need to have the camera you know if you have the camera too far forward like this 
the whole thing craps out. And if you have the camera back this way too far, and, it, and I'm doing extremes just to show you, it doesn't have to be that extreme. It'll throw it off. I mean, it's it's a precision deal. And because of this mount and this mount and this and this mount don't tighten all the way, the thing creeps on you out of time, and you're out of, and you're out of focus or you're out of balance. So basically, that's a quick rundown of the smoothie and why I don't like it. Um, again, I'm open to uh, comments, questions, concerns. If I didn't show something and you want to um, me to clarify something, just let me know. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching.